Hello, I'm Foibles and welcome to another episode of the Hansa in Europa Universalis 4. So I think we are going to siege up um We are going to siege up these peoples. We could even potentially take our forces and go siege up Iceland and that could be our way to to the new world and I think I'm going to do that I'm going to do that and hopefully we can um, we can get some of that done except that these douches are do you have mercenaries here we do so let's send like two mercenary regiments to Lübeck hmm and these people are trying to do something weird here So yeah, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to take them and send them all the way to Iceland and hopefully we can siege one of the Iceland the one of the provinces in Iceland before Sweden um pieces out in this war. I don't think they will peace out quite yet. They usually don't. They usually try to take some of their cores back as well. So I think we are decently safe to send our navy that way most likely and just try to get get this done and also in the meantime we are we are sitting down um, um denmark and that's good 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 and brilliant that's good so yeah we are going to try to take Reykjavik, some part, some some land over here. It would be good for us, because we are planning to go and colonize in this game, in this um, campaign. I am going to try to colonize a little bit. Um, I don't think we can start sieging that right away. No, sadly not. Let us send these people back to here. And then we can hopefully do something. And the Danish have gotten some stuff. Hmm. They are suffering a ton of attrition though. It would seem like we have to maybe send another another patch of boats out there. Let's t take a look at our navies. If they start to get very weak then we will retreat the navy. I don't want to lose any ships. And there is one that is... Uh, oh, there is one. Well, let's, let's just retreat now, right now then. And I will send one more um, mercenary out there and send this one over here come on move it mm, I'm pretty sure that we could probably even do it with just the transports I didn't see any I didn't see any navies lurking about and I'm pretty sure this one's going away Yes, all of those navies are going away, so that's fine. Let's lose the prestige then. And yeah, this war seems to be going just fine. I do hope that we can um, separate peace and get Reykjavik at least out from this war. Which would basically... In which, in which case, I suppose I shouldn't maybe get these. Actually, get these. Uh, no, that's not what I want. I want this one to be moved out there first. All right, that's fine. And now the siege starts, and we can send you back. And you over here. And... Hmm. 
interesting. Well, this battle should be decently fine for us. We shouldn't lose any ships. Uh, instead, they should lose a ton of ships. There's one that is a bit weak. George isn't doing so hot. But they are losing ships way faster than we are. <coughs> Which is the good thing. Uh, I think we just lost one one ship. Other than that, every ship is seems to be doing just fine. Mm, let's keep it, let's keep the battle going for a little while longer. George is at 34%. Aha. Uh -huh. We can fight a little bit longer, I think. Even longer still. Hmm. We could maybe risk it a bit more. Well, no, there's one at 7%, so let's just retreat to here. And let's combine these and send them to Mecklenburg. And let's build some more parks. And I guess I will send this army up here as well. Try to siege some of the lands that Sweden... So that Sweden won't get them under their control. Hmm. Yes, I think that's fine. Uh, we could keep him still. He is 60. Will he leave? Well, he might leave. But our Republican tradition is kind of getting low. Hmm. On the other hand, the points we are generating is just so crazy much. That maybe we should keep him for like one more turn. And then we will try to get our Republican tradition back up. Yeah, I think that would be fine. Hmm. Well, let's go blow up this army here. Or navy. So we can send this one over there. No. Alright then. Now, maybe? No. Well, sync it up quickly then. Sync the Swedish peoples up. No, the Danish people, I mean. They are Danes. And I think we are in charge of this siege. Yes, we are. Good, good. That's what I wanted. I don't want Sweden to get any occupation, maybe apart from Finn. How's this one going? Hmm. It could be better. If we send, it, send a... This leader would really make a difference there. So I guess we will send this guy down there with this leader and this navy. Ooh. That's rather nasty. Hmm. Oh, right. That's where the Cooks are at. Hmm. Well, let's send him up. We might need them. And let's take the last idea. And yeah, we captured a ship. Uh, we captured a cock. Well, it's fine, I guess. Oh. And we are fighting again. We should win this fight quite easily. Uh, we might lose a few ships. We lost two Kallis. We captured one ship. Um, one what? What did we capture? Uh, well, I don't know. 
capturing ships is always good though. And let's just combine all these shippy things. Let's take a manpower modifier guy, although he's level 2. Oops. Well, I suppose we can keep him for a while. Uh, let's send this guy over here. Um, I don't want to lose any Republican tradition right now. That would be bad. Battle of... Oh, interesting. Yay, we have taken Reykjavik. That's good. Good news. So, Denmark. How about I take Reykjavik and... That'll be... That'll be really all I really want. Except that I don't know if I can actually core that one. Hmm. Maybe I should try to take a island from here, like these ones, and then maybe I can core Reykjavik. Just maybe. But hopefully Sweden won't peace out just yet in this war, and just so we won't get any sieges done, I'm going to reset the, see, reset the timers so the war score won't go up anymore. Who knows what the Swedish would do. Peace out properly. Like that. With that exchange. So I guess I will send these to the Shetlands. Shetlands. And we'll see if we can take that one too. And maybe with that we can core Reykjavik. Just maybe. And then we can use it to fabricate on this and get into war with Norway again. For future purposes. And actually this is sieging already. Good, good. We don't really need to send the navy. Pick up the other, other guy. Although I suppose we will. Uh, well, we can siege this one too, I guess. Well, no, there is no point in it if we are not going to take it. So, let's not do that. But I will send the navy to blockade this one. In hopes of getting it sooner. And it ha It does have a fort level 2. Well, everything does, I suppose. Yes, they do. Oh, well. Let's do the swap again here. Like that. Battle of Scorn. Hmm. Not really sure how I like that. And there is some rebels. Well, that's not good. Hmm. That's really not good. I really want this one. I really, really want it. Hmm. And there is an army coming this way. Wait, wait. Ah, uh, well, let's try to ease the stuff then. And they are starting to come back. And Sweden isn't really doing anything here. Stupid Swedish peoples. So, military points, we are capped on. Well, let's take the tech then. I suppose I could just levy war taxes as well. Let's do it, although I don't think this will last for two, two more years, but we might as well. We have so many excess points, that doesn't really matter. And we can make a new general, well, so let's do that. Let's reroll a few times. Like two times and take the better one. Which is this one, sadly. 7%. Hmm. I really don't actually want to take this... This bit of land, truth be told. Not right now, anyways. Because I'm pretty sure... Um, Denmark will give me whatever I want. After... We have sieged this... Besides, they have no 
no point not to give it to us because it's not really part of their own very own land, it's part of Norway. So why not, right? So that would be 22. And it will piss off just those two. And what if, what if I take this one? Oh, that does piss off a great deal more. Mm hmm. Will we. Can we take war operations? Yes, we can. And some money. And. Yeah, I think Sweden can. Maybe deal with this on it on their own now maybe perhaps we could go and beat up on now nah, let's just do it I get what I want and Sweden can just we can core this one and we cannot core this one yet so that's what I was afraid of hmm Yay, then yes, Sweden is independent. We did separate peace, and I suppose that kind of did piss them off a little bit, but I'm sure Sweden wanted to get out from that war. And we did want to get out from it. So, separate peace, oh well. But we have that supported our independence, and that's huge. And it will lo last a long, long time. So they should be friends with us for quite a while. King Frederick August. The first of Ulf's, Ulf Sachs. Interesting name. I, pr I believe that historically, historically it was the Vasa dynasty that liberated Sweden from under Denmark. And historically speaking, um, Hansa did help out in that war as well. So that's pretty much what happened back then. And we will repay that. So this level 2 guy is not a very good idea. So I guess I'll just take you instead. And actually that, that saves us a ton of money because it increases our force limit. I should have maybe realized that a long time ago. And we can reduce the maintenance for a while to try to make some money. Mm, well, I don't think we'll take that, but you can go now and uh, patrol Lübeck. And I guess you can just stay there for now. While we are trying to core this one. It'll be great, it'll be fine. Idea-wise... We are all done with humanists, so the next idea group will, will be exploration, I think. Exploration. We have so much Diplo points and... Yep, it, it's got to be exploration. And we might even put on the Diplo focus if we need to. Uh, I think I will reduce that by one. And how is our heat map looking? Just wondering. Um, it is... It's pretty much gone. Well, no, not really. It's, there is a pretty sizable amount of aggressive expansion here. But East Frisia is actually not part. Well, they are allied with Austria, so... There is that. Hmm. Well, Denmark hates our guts now. Understandable, I suppose. And we will be enemies with uh, with Sweden in the long run, but for now we can be buddies. It's a short-term alliance thing, a mid well, a rather a mid-term alliance thing. And with Brandenburg, we are going to stay friends for quite a while. Mm, Pomerania is probably going to be the next one we attack in terms of expanding and taking stuff and after that it will be Denmark again and I'm pretty sure Norway will break free from under Denmark yes when this guy dies well he is he is only 19 so 
Who knows? Hmm. Um, the papal influence is nice, but truth be told, I really need the admin power to tech up. So I'm going to be taking the admin admin powers. And once this one has been called, I can extend my grasp to here, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. That is the plan at any case. Hmm. It is really far though. Oh, we are capped in Diplo points. Although this should maybe make it possible even without that one. Yes, it does, so... Alright, alright, that's fine. That'll work just fine as well. It's still ha nice to have these islands, right? Stupid islands. I hate islands, but... Oh well. The Lübeck Grantor. What's this? Hmm... I'll lose that and that. Uh, trade efficiency plus 5%. National trade income modifier plus 10%. Diplomatic technology cost minus 1%. This looks like an awesome, awesome thing to do, so... Let us do that. Yes, let's do that, by all means. Idea cost, that's nice, but I don't really have any ideas, so... Hmm. And I think it is time to get rid of our Parnabas. It is just time to take a new guy. Our our Republican tradition is just so very low nowadays that we need we need someone else. And I'd much rather have the guilds in power, truth be told. Hmm, yes, so let's boost that one up. The bronze cannons, that's nice. Actually, we can build bronze cannons, can't we? Yes, we can. So let's get some cannons going. And I'm pretty sure we can actually just get rid of this army over here. And let's build one more infantry. And also, we can build some ships. So we should build some ships too. Yay. And we should probably be fabricating some claims on Denmark. Mm, fabricate a claim on... Lolland, Holstein, Finn. Midtjylland, Nordjylland, Schleswig. Which one would be the best? Best one to... Let's take a look at the base stacks. Show province. Yeah, it's three over here, four here, five here. Three, seven, six. And two, but Sweden is going to want those, so... I think it's Holsten. Holstein. Holsten. Holstein. And let's take that one. Let's fabricate that one. And hopefully our cannons will be here soon. Cannons, man. Also, I do have to take a break soon, so there is that too. Sad times, right? Right. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to take a break here. Thank you for watching. If you liked the episode, then please do click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really help out a ton and I would appreciate it a lot. And I will see you in the next episode, hopefully. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.